Hey guys, I'm Molly from Everyday Gymnastics and today I thought it would be a cool video to share with you guys my experience at YMCA Nationals this year. So I have pictures and videos and stories from this awesome gathering of all the YMCA gymnasts in America. So what that means is that every gymnast who trains at a YMCA in the country, if they qualify to this meet, they can come together with about 3,000 other girls and boys and compete for nationals. So Y Nationals is a four or five day long event. There's a lot that happens, but I'm just gonna start off by laying out the basics. So I will admit it is not competitive at all to qualify to nationals. If you do okay at a meet and you have a bunch of meets to try and qualify, then you will probably make it to nationals. But if you and your gym choose to go, it does get more competitive when you're there. As you know, the whole country is there. And then when you're in the upper levels, it gets even more competitive. In level 8, 9, and 10, there are more than one day that you can advance to. Even though it's not super competitive, like USAG Nationals, for example, that's super hard to qualify to, and it's only for level 9 and 10, I think. But even though it's not super competitive, they just make it so that everyone can have fun and be a part of a huge event that they'll remember forever. So I've been all over the country for Y Nationals. I started in Tampa, Florida, then we went to Wichita, Kansas, Long Beach, California, Savannah, Georgia, and this year was my fifth one. It was in Toledo, Ohio. It wasn't the most exciting destination for my teammates and me. We weren't looking forward to it like we were, for example, California. But it is very cool, I think, to go anywhere you've never been before because there's so much to explore. And it ended up being a good nationals. Okay, so I'm finally done talking about random stuff. But I'm gonna go through the week one day at a time so you can kind of get a sense of the timeline. So let's start at Monday night, which was our last practice before we left for nationals. And each year before nationals, we do a mock meet. So we go through our routines and the people who aren't going to nationals, so there were two people in our group who weren't coming. They were the judges and told us what our scores were. So we set up a whiteboard and my friend wrote inspirational quotes on it. I got my best score of the whole season because here's a secret, I redid two of the routines because I fell and I didn't want to fall. But I got a 36.6. So I felt confident going to nationals. Then we go on to Tuesday, which was the day that everyone drove to Ohio. It was an eight hour drive. So I left about noon on Tuesday and got there at 10 p.m. Some girls left later, some left earlier. Our one friend who is a senior, she left in the morning because Tuesday night is the senior banquet where they basically have dinner, recognize you for making it to your senior year. They award scholarships, and also the keynote speaker is always there. So this year, Nastia Lukin, an Olympic champion, was the keynote speaker. So my friend got a picture with her, and we were all driving in the car with hours left to go, and she sends us this picture, and we get so jealous. But next year, I will be a senior, so hopefully this next person is just as good. All right, so now we're on to Wednesday, which is the first day of activities and events for most people. So in the morning for level six and above, I believe, you have a touch warm up. So you have 15 minutes on each event and you basically just get to go into the convention center and get used to the equipment, the bright lights, feel more confident with yourself and your skills before you compete. So that was nice. My level, we matched leotards with the pink meat Leo from two years ago, just so that we looked in uniform and as a team but it was still a tank top, comfortable practice leotard. So after that, you go back to the hotel. I drove myself and two of my teammates to and from the convention center, but I went out to lunch to get pizza with my mom and my sister. And then that night is the first big event and probably the biggest thing of the whole nationals, which is opening ceremonies. So my team matched outfits. We all had pink tank tops that said Twisters Gymnastics with white shorts and then we all walked to a hotel to meet up, then we walked to the Hutchison Center, which was basically a random convention center in Toledo, I think. And in there is where we listened to Nastia Lucan, the keynote speaker. You walk into the huge room 
all the parents are sitting up in the stadium. As they announce your team, you walk up onto the stage and the big screen camera is on you. You get to like wave, it's pretty cool. Then you sit down, obviously, and my team got the front row seat for the back of the stage, so we were very close to Nastia. Her back was to us for some of the time, but I thought it was still okay because we were super close. And she just basically got up there and did a very inspirational speech. Some of her things were, never quit on a bad day. If you're having a rough time, just persevere until you have a good day finally, then you can think, do I actually want to quit? Find your true passion in life. Find something that makes you happy. It doesn't matter what it is, just find something that will fulfill you. And the third thing that I remember is that your medals and how skilled you are, how athletic or smart or pretty you are, it doesn't define you. What defines you is if you're happy and if you're living a good life helping others. So after listening to Nastia and some of the other speakers in the Hutchison Center, we walked to the baseball field which was in the middle of the town or the city. I don't know what Toledo is. City? So there's a baseball field for their minor league team which is called the Mud Hens. So they were playing against another team, couldn't even tell you the name. Nationals gave us tickets so we all could just get in and I waited in line for food for two hours. Very, very bad experience. So after I got my food I kind of just wanted to leave which I was kind of sad about because I love baseball games, but I was competing the next day and I needed to be in the right mental state. So, got my food, then skirted out of there. Next day is Thursday. So this was the day that I competed day one of competition, as well as my younger sister Delaney. This was her first nationals, and she did level three, I did level eight. The thing that's funny is we both competed at the exact same time. So there were four gyms lined up and I'm pretty sure we were in like the farthest ones. So sorry to our mom, but she tried her best to see both of us. The whole gymnastics team from my gym wore the same leotard for nationals and each year the senior or the seniors gets to design it. So this year my friend Chloe designed the leotard. We got it through ozone, it was pink and purple ombre with sparkles on it. I liked it a lot. So my competition went well, I fell twice and you, I'm going to post the videos soon on my YouTube channel of the routines. The videos didn't quite work out, I missed my bar routine of day one and some of my beam routine and I was so mad because on day one of competition on Thursday. I made my bar dismount, my new one, um, it's a toe front, and I stuck it and no one got a video. It's fine, like I'm over it, but... After that competition we took some pictures and then went out to dinner and that day was pretty much over. So I guess the benefit was in Delaney and my competition being at the exact same time that we could get our competitions over with and then we had the whole rest of Thursday and then the whole day of Friday off. On Friday morning we went to the convention center to watch the level sevens from my team just because I'm pretty close with a bunch of them and you got to support the team you know. and then my mom Delaney and I went to a little lake it was a lake or a bay I think but further out into the water it turns into Lake Erie so we were saying we basically went swimming in Lake Erie but it was a cute little beach and it was super hot the water was pretty refreshing so it was a nice trip just to see some more of Ohio we went back to the convention center again to watch the level 9 event finals actually it was level 9 and 10 so it's combined into that night but it's pretty exciting watching those girls because they do pretty good skills and I hope to be there next year. Saturday June 30th was the last day of Y Nationals. A few other levels get to compete in the morning and then level 8 second day competes. So on day one, so Thursday, there were three sessions of level 8 and if you 
are in the top 25 of your age group. There's junior and senior. So if you're in the top 25 of your division, then you get to advance to day two. So there's 50 gymnasts on Saturday. I got third place in my session, but then when you put all three sessions together, I was in 13th. So I advanced along with my friend, Chloe. Something that's always exciting about second day is that you get to wear a new leotard, or for our gym that's the case, some gyms wear their normal season competition leotard or one that they buy on the convention center sales, but ours is that we always have a few long sleeve leotards at home and we use them as motivation to make second day. So my leotard was very pretty, it was red, white, and blue and I was super excited to wear it. Chloe's was pink and black and there were mesh sleeves. It was a very cool design, so we were really excited. Floor and vault were both made for me. Bars, it was going very well. Low bar was like gorgeous. And then I get to high bar and just completely fail on my dismount. So that's one of the reasons I was sad I didn't get a video day one because I stuck it that day. But it's okay. Next year I'm gonna stick all of them. And then beam, I was so close to making my series, but I jumped off the beam. Anyway, that day was very fun. I loved competing and after that day, honestly, I felt inspired and like I was just loving gymnastics and I couldn't wait to get back into the gym. I have one more year, so I was feeling like I really need to make it count. I can't even remember what I got. I think I got fourth place or sixth place. Saturday after competing, we went home. Eight hour drive and got home around 10. So that is it for this video. I hope that you liked coming along with my experience of why nationals. Ohio was a good place. I wasn't sure how it was gonna turn out, but it ended up being okay. Next year, it's gonna be in Wisconsin, I think, so can't wait to see what that brings. But thank you for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.